Okay, now let's come to the final production of this, this year. Now remember the topic was uh, astronomy is the study of the solar system and why do we study the space but not Earth first? Now let's first study Earth then after go to the space. Now in this topic the one of the best ways to treat the essay was the use of the descriptive discourse. It means giving information in the present tense. Now I've chosen to start by describing what is the, what are the benefits of astronomy and why do we have to study astronomy and not uh, Earth first. Now the the title is astronomy and space study. Remember that you can are free to choose any form of title. It means you can make what is astronomy or astronomy and space or studying astronomy. You are free to write any. Now, why I'm insisting on writing the title because the title is just a facet explaining what you are going to write in your essay. Now, and remember that we need to start with the introduction because you can't go directly to the topic but write, go step by step. Now, look, the space, this is the mod we have. Now, where the space of the first paragraph. So, for example, it's my own production, you can use whatever you can, but be sure you are writing simple, correct tense sentences. Every day, as a general introduction, every day we read about some important discoveries in the outer space. So, for example, in the, the, the articles, in the magazines, in the newspapers, in, on television, uh, in radio, we hear every day discoveries about the space. For example, that uh, the astronauts are uh, discovering Mars, they are discovering what is in the space, that Pluto is not a planet and is an asteroid. So, every day we have got this kind of information. Now, but at the same time, many people believe it is worth, worth is very good, studying our planet before getting to the outer space. So many people on Earth say no. Instead of wasting time on going to the space, let's first use the money here on Earth, study Earth, see what is needed by humans here, and also go to the space. Now, so the question is, so why do we have to study the space? Is it a necessity to study the space? This is what we need to answer. And I told you that the best way to go from the introduction to the development is starting with a question. Now, first of all, at the beginning, first of all, let us say that knowledge cannot be limited by our life on Earth. Meaning, it's not because we live on Earth that we don't have to study what is out of Earth. Means, knowledge is not limited on this planet, but it goes beyond that planet. So, it extends beyond the limit of our space. Man has always been curious to see what, what's happening there out in the space. He was curious to fly in the space. So, it extends beyond, means beyond the, the limits of our space. Man has been always, but well, remember, here there's a mistake. Here there's a mistake. Now, first men, when you write men with capital letter, here men means uh, the human being, the person. Now, here there is an auxiliary, and here there is a frequency adverb. Now, so, you can't say in English, men has been always. No, but we say, look, we say, men, follow me please, men, so, men has, has, Always has always be curious. I am always insisting on you to read what you write because every time you read, every time you find mistakes and you correct the, the essay. So, man has always been, not the man has been always, man has always been curious about what is, what he ignores. Man is always going after what he ignores. Then, uh, what he ignores, 
so what he ignores, and then uh, and, uh, the, the study of the space, now we come to the, to the heart of the topic, so the study of the space is not without objectives. It means it's not, it's not just studying for study. No, we have got behind this real objectives. Now, what are these objectives? So, it is not without any objective. First, we study astronomy first to know what is in our, it's up there in the universe, in our universe. So, when we study astronomy, we try to know what's up there. What are the elements making our universe? Then, uh, astronomy helps us, helps, it helps us to identify the different heavenly bodies in, in, uh, and understand the different phenomena happening in our galaxy. Remember, we are using the words which we learned in this unit. So, the astronomy is helping us to identify, to see what is this. This is a planet. And what is this? This is a star. And this is a moon. And this is a galaxy. And this is a universe. And this is an asteroid. This is a comet. We understand the relation between these heavenly bodies. So, all these phenomena happening in our galaxy, such are, for example, the solar eclipse. For example, when a solar eclipse happens, we understand why, what is this phenomenon. So, it is a natural phenomenon, it's not something uh, supernatural, it's not something that it is dangerous, but it is something that it is naturally happening in our space. Furthermore, furthermore, it means, in addition, in addition to this, furthermore, it helps us to protect Earth from extraterrestrial extraterrestrial, yes, dangers, namely the, the, the possibility of collision between Earth with comets and or asteroids. So, when a comet or an asteroid is coming through to space towards Earth, so before it comes to our, to our uh, planet, before it reaches the limits of the planet, the satellites are uh, getting photos and we knew, know beforehand when and how and with, with, with what the speed it's coming towards Earth. And then we can find solutions to avoid this collision. collision. So, astronomy is helping us to know, to identify, to interpret, to understand and to protect ourselves from all the dangers that may come from the space. To sum up, is to make a summary of what we have said before and all. So to sum up, the, the study of astronomy is effectively the study of Earth, of our planet. So, by the time we are studying space, we are in reality studying our planet. And, and Earth. So, to sum up, the study of astronomy is effectively the study of our planet Earth. And, Understanding the space means automatically it's understanding and preserving our life on Earth. So this is in all the importance of studying astronomy. I hope you get an idea. I hope you understand better how we construct the paragraph. So good luck for your exams.